Okay, so one of the most fundamental building blocks we were working with is modular arithmetic. That is working with a modulus. So taking a number a, modulo b, uh, means that we calculate the remainder of a divided by b. So in most programming languages, the operator for modulus is the percent sign. So I get the remainder by calculating the number modulo the divisor and that's the remainder. So that's what we call the remainder. The quotient is what we call if we do integer division, like in elementary school, right? Where we have a quotient and a remainder. And this number B here behind the modulus sign, we usually call modulus. So modular arithmetic is working, uh, calculating in the present presence of such a modulus. The mathematical notation for that is okay, there, brackets, mod, and then the modulus. So we have a calculation, this number plus this number equals some number modulus 9. So that means these numbers summed up. If we divide them by 9, what is the remainder? So we can calculate this quite easily in Python with the percent with the modulo operator and see, okay, the remainder is 2. So it's that easy, right? Well, not exactly. It turns out mathematicians have come up with a concept for this, for working um, modulus a number and for working um, a bit more abstractly. So we're gonna dive into those mathematical concepts now so you don't only see the programming perspective but also the mathematical perspective on things. And for that we need some other concepts as well.